Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you, like and subscribe. So you guys, I've hit a, uh, a snag in my new plans to start my medical transportation part-time job that I was gonna do just uh, to make some extra income before, for the quartzite season. Uh, my van did not pass inspection, so after a minor breakdown uh, today and spending some time with my mom, I feel like I'm kind of back to square one with things. So um, I decided that if, you know, um, this is the wrench that's been thrown in my plans, um, <clears throat> that I was uh, gonna, you know, work on putting my van back together, but differently. So it's not necessarily all bad because on my trip, I decided that when I got home and before quartzite season, I was going to take everything out anyways to do a complete 100% inventory of what I have in my van and what I don't need to put back inside of it. So um, this gives me the opportunity, it's given me the opportunity to wipe everything down, clean everything up, get stuff vacuumed. I still need to get my trunk vacuumed and I was in a rush to vacuum this morning um, so I need to go back and vacuum. But I, I want to show you guys what I'm working with because I kind of want your suggestions. Um, I've really loved my, my build so far um, and it's worked out perfect. But you know me, I like to switch things up and I kind of want to try something new. So um, follow along with me in this video and I'll show you what I'm working with and you guys can tell me your thoughts. So all my seats are up. Um, these captain's chairs have not been used since I purchased the van. Um, so of course everything is stow and go. So all my seats are up, but you know, they all go down. So unfortunately I'm 5'8", so I can't put my bed this way because I like to sleep flat and straight out and I just won't fit. So I think I still need to keep my bed um, going, you know, from the front to the trunk. So that's going to be the biggest thing that holds me back in terms of really uh, switching things up. So um, all three of my seats, of course, fold down into the trunk. And, you know, this is the Dodge Grand Caravan trunk space. It's recessed about a foot. Ugh, I really need a vacuum in here. It's gross. So I'm just thinking, what can I do differently to switch it up? I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a lot of brainstorming here. I think I still want to have my main opening on the passenger side because that's how uh, camper vans and RVs are generally set up. So, and I also, I don't think that, um, so my bed won't fit like on this side in this chair. So if I fold this one down and leave that one up, I still can't fit my bed because it's too wide. Um, so that kind of limits me as well. So I'm thinking I might just have to continue with the setup I had before, um, but maybe I can switch some other things up. So this is how the seats work in the stow and go. They just completely fold down. And uh, hmm, I need help, you guys. So this is all the stuff that came out of my van, including my solar panels, my fridge, my power stations, my tools, literally everything, um, my foam pad, my coffee stuff, everything. So everything's right here and I really don't have a lot and I can also minimize what's sitting here currently. So this is just kind of what I'm working with. It's not a ton and this is the best part about having a no build minivan camper is I can shove it all in here and put back in what I need. I'm like, so, and you know, remember I have my Yeti, so I'm like, should I put my Yeti in there somewhere? Should I do something with that? I don't know, there's like so many possibilities. One thing I absolutely have to keep the same is my passenger seat. I use my passenger seat all the time for other people. So I need that free and clear. And you know, when I'm traveling, that's where Winston sits. So I cannot remove the passenger seat, will not remove the passenger seat, and it's going to stay as is. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. I really want uh, to hear from you. I want your inspiration on this because if I'm going to put everything back in, I want to do something new. So 
let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you watching this video and hanging in there with me as I go through this kind of struggle bus ride that I'm on. Um, but thank you so much and I'll see you next time.